Today I'm taking you with me to show you how I determine service sizes for commercial buildings. To accommodate some EV vehicles as well as large trucks, we need to upgrade this whole service size. But before we can figure out what we need, we need to determine what they're drawing to begin with. I'm gonna first be using the Fluke 378FC to test every single one of these legs and determine what their amperage is at peak load, which just means with everything on that could possibly be on. So this current service size is a 400 amp service jumping off of a transformer behind me, running into this meter pan with three phase parallel feeders. So I need to take the measurement of every single one. I can also determine rotation with this meter as well. It saves onto my phone on the Fluke app, which is really nice. While I'm taking these measurements, I also have to try and figure out what the best course of action is to run a larger service. So with that, it's important for me to find the pole that it's coming from, how it's being run to the transformer and how it gets to the meter and how we're gonna move everything around when we do upgrade. So back at the shop is a completely different story. I use NEC code book, obviously. Article 220 is where you're gonna find a lot of the information you're looking for for load calculations, as well as I use the Uglies book. This table is awesome for all of your equations if you're not good at remembering them. Every time you do load calculations, it's going to be different. Different things are gonna be used, but for this particular situation, everything in this building is staying the same. And that's why I took the readings with the meter so that way I can determine exactly what they're drawing right now. So with all my calculations, I did determine that they are currently set for 144 kW. We then reached out to the utility company for meter readings and they told us total draw right now continuous is 108 kW. So from here, now I'm going to incorporate the proposed equipment for electric charger for trucks, which are at 330 kW peak and 480 amp car chargers. So for the car chargers, I had to figure out the kW. The truck chargers are actually only rated for 480 and up. So we're also actually converting this service to 480. So in all of this, I'm determining the kW to be approximately 1730 with the new service added. And what I wanna do is now determine amperage so that way I can give this to utility companies. I determined around 2000 amps for this. Right now they're actually only putting two electric truck chargers in, but they wanted the proposed four just in case they need to add more. They don't wanna have to increase their service size. So now the move is sending this to the utility company that we are gonna be changing a three phase 400 amp 208 service to a three phase 2000 amp 480 service. And now that we know all of the sizing and everything, now we can look at pricing for switch gears and panels and all of the things, but we can't do that until we know our load calculations. So now that that's done, now we can move forward with process two. Thanks for watching guys.